Rajesh, uh, you got a good set of numbers this quarter, uh, but your commentary speaks for uh, speaks about you know environment is challenging. That's what you said. If you can elaborate, or uh, when you say environment is challenging, uh, in what sense, uh, which geographies, and uh, is it decision making is become challenging, or is it execution or supply side? How is it? Uh, and then followed by second. Sure. No, the supply side is uh, easing out. So the, the operational challenges from our perspective is not very high. Supply side is easing out. Uh, easing out. Uh, technology uh, portfolio is stable. So it's not that we are investing in something new and we need to catch up with it. So uh, our operating environment is quite uh, stable. I'm talking more from a customer perspective and uh, not very different than what you would guess. So Europe is a, you know, it's an uncertain environment. Like uh, NGS said, we've got to wait and see how the winter pans out. Uh, will there be production cuts? If there are production cuts that will roll across multiple industries. Uh, US is overall very strong. But supply chain disruption has uh, resulted in insurance, especially on the PNC side, having a, so uh, you know, the housing market, the new housing starts are low, uh, refinancing is low, so mortgage insurance uh, tends to become low, uh, new car buying is down, so that auto insurance starts to uh, you know see that. So these are small, small uh, niggling things that are uh, coming through. U uh, UK. Uh, with everything that is going on there, very difficult to call. I mean, we are doing very well. Pipeline was, order closer was very good. Growth is very good. Uh, but obviously, we need to be a bit cautious about what that medium term looks like. So that's what we meant. But having said all of that, uh, as I said, in any of these scenarios, uh, technology is at the core of that solution set. So what is critical is for us to stay very close to the customer and deal with that customer specific situation. We are not trying to take a top-down call on the market. We are taking a very balanced view that these are the customers. We have a trusted relationship with them. We enjoy a fair amount of credibility and we have the ability to you know, see them through that whole phase. So we're quite confident about uh, the strength of our relationships, even though the overall environment might be challenging. NG, you know, you spoke about a uh, good uh, UK and Europe in Q2. Uh, at the beginning of Q2, you were a little circumspect how Europe and uh, UK would do, and they have done well. Where is this buoyancy coming from? And do you see uh, ahead Q3, Q4, there is could be challenges coming into that market? I know one of the insurance deals which you did in UK that has helped you in, in this quarter, but uh, going to Q3 and Q4, you see that uh, buoyancy continuing and secondly manufacturing on a q to q basis is one one and a half percent jump in uh, revenues for manufacturing do you see manage manufacturing manufacturing could be a pain point given the kind of uh, situation which we have in europe overall i think you know uh, we are executing well in uh, europe uh, as well as uk all the deals that we secured in the previous quarters uh, whether it is in the banking financial services or in pharmaceuticals or in uh, manufacturing segment, you know, we are executing well, you know, and that's uh, the key thing, right? The 2.3 million policies that we have migrated in a single go. And so it's all coming back to, you know, uh, shape, you know, in terms of making sure that we deliver on time, we execute it on time with good quality, all of that, right? So that contributes to naturally revenue and everything else. In terms of, um, the deal pipeline is also broad based. As we said, look, you know, it's not that I can't say that uh, we are winning only in banking financial services or we are winning only in uh, this thing. It's fairly broad based. So this $8.1 billion of order book during this quarter is consists of several um, small deals, right? It's uh, uh, medium sized deals rather than any uh, one single large deal, as Rajesh pointed out. Um, it's very difficult to say. Where this, you know, whether this momentum will continue for uh, next uh, quarter. In terms of deal closures, I expect some softness, right, uh, the way I see it. But in terms of the order book that we have, and then we have to execute it and delivering it, uh, I think we are confident that we'll be able to execute it and deliver it in the coming quarters. That's not the issue. But whether the large deals that we are pursuing, whether uh, the deal buoyancy 
the decision making on that will continue, especially in Europe, is something that you know we'll have to wait and see. Uh, next is that you know in terms of the budget cycle, most of our clients are getting into the budget cycle in this quarter. Uh, we've had some conversations, but then we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. And probably in uh, coming uh, come January, we will have some more visibility on how they are thinking about budgets for the next financial year and, and so on and so on. And I think I'll be able to share more insights into some of this in January. Samir, uh, you know, uh, more than 110,000 uh, recruitments last year, 35,000 in first two quarters. Uh, how is it going to play out for your cost of subcontracting? Will that have a, will it come down significantly for you going into the second half? So uh, we have seen our uh, subcontractor costs starting to trend downwards and we expect uh, that to continue, especially so when uh, the supply side challenges which we are talking about, they uh, start to ease down upon, then uh, reliance on uh, subcontractors should uh, also equally start to uh, uh, trend downwards. Well, in, uh, you spoke about the fact that, uh, you know, you have peaked in terms of attrition in Q2, but you also mentioned that on an LTM basis, the fall may not be uh, significant. Uh, when do you see uh, attrition coming down sub-20% on an LTM basis? That's a big one. But, you know, the point is uh, we are seeing a good uh, significant, uh, you know, change in uh, in the numbers which are coming in. You know? uh, and uh, if you do math mathematics, just pure mathematics for the four quarters, it will still not be significantly down because of the way it's calculated. So, you know, it is even after four quarters, you will see a number which may not be very close to, you know, what we are aspiring for, but it will come down significantly. It will come to 20 or it will take at least four quarters to get to that point. It will because of the way it's calculated. But our overall numbers of uh, number of people coming down every quarter will, will come down. 